I'm Peggy Peck at the American College of Cardiology meeting in Chicago. Evidence was reported here that a potent statin, resuvastatin, may actually lower LDL cholesterol and have a benefit on progression of atherosclerotic plaque. As Dr. Christy Ballantyne explains the results of the asteroid trial. So it was a, a, a pleasure to, to present on behalf of the asteroid investigators the quantitative coronary arteriographic analysis of this trial. So the asteroid trial was designed to test the effects of intensive statin therapy, resuvastatin, 40 milligrams of maximal dose. Dr. Nissen presented the results showing that it, it caused regression <coughs> by intravascular ultrasound. Uh, a new methodology, very precise, for measuring what happens with the atheroma in the vessel wall. This was using an older methodology, quantitative coronary arteriography. It's been around for a couple of decades. It had been previously shown to be correlative of cardiac events. People who had progression had more events. And what was seen is looking at this methodology, that these patients had regression also by looking at the lesions with stenosis and the percent diameter stenosis, improvement in the ML, minimal lumen diameter. 97% were either stable or had regression. <clears throat> and if we looked at, we looked at also at all of the statin monotherapy trials, and it was very important, there was a strong relationship between lower LDL levels, which seemed to have come into question by, uh, particularly by people in the press, uh, and some other investigators, but lowering LDL was strongly associated in statin trials, at least, with less progression in raising HDL. And in fact, what we see now is some concordance with this particular therapy between imaging studies using the coronaries, both IBIS and QCA. It also was concordant with an IMT trial uh, with it, uh, I think for some vindication of imaging, because we heard today that there was also an outcome study which was stopped. So there is some, some alignment of some of these imagings uh, with coronaries and carotids for this therapy and then uh, outcomes. But explain for me, if you will, the clinical implications of these findings. So I think the bottom line of the findings is it, it supports the ACCHA guidelines, which are pretty simple. If you've got coronary disease or other vascular disease, get the LDL to less than 100, but it's reasonable to get to less than 70. In our study, we got to less than 70, we got to 60, or a 50% reduction. And if you do that, I think you'll do well. These patients had 97% uh, were either stable or had regression. Okay, so um, we've heard a lot about lipids at the ACC, and, um, and we've had some data from um, a different lipid-lowering agent that, um, sh that had significant LDL lowering, but no evidence um, on, an, on a surrogate mark or a benefit. Now, you're reporting today benefit. Um, and I, what does this say about this whole issue of using imaging studies and, and tying them into a clinical outcome and LDL lowering? Give us a, 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 just a sum up statement here. Well, usually we want to see consistency of data. So we look at two vascular beds. And we've seen this, for example, we talked about resuvastatin, 40 milligrams, Crestor 40 in the coronaries. There's another study with the same dose in the carotids. Both showed benefits. So you want to see consistency of data. And you want to see what the clinical outcomes trials are. And we heard that one was stopped today using the, the same agent uh, for because there was benefit. We don't know the results yet, but so we see there's a consistency here. Now, I wouldn't throw out 20 or 30 years of knowledge on LDL based upon one study with the, the Zetamib yesterday, the enhanced trial, which was neutral. And it was a special patient population uh, uh, with it. So I think the issue is that the guidelines still make sense. Knock the LDL down in high-risk patients, get it to less than 70. Uh, we, statins are the first-line therapy. If you're not a target, then, you know, add on other agents as needed. We got to think about which ones you use. We've also got niacin and resins and these other choices. It doesn't mean that we don't do that uh, uh, for this. I think we still, our, our target would be that the LDL is important, but it does reinforce that we start off with a statin because that's where we have the most information. So statins first, and a potent statin is always good. Yeah, so statin's good, and the lower you get the LDL, the better. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Valentine. So to recap, a potent statin, resuvastatin, effectively lowers LDL and at the same time appears to slow progression of atherosclerosis. I'm Peggy Peck, MedPage Today.